by Hashwini Vedakan. Joining us on this week's episode is musician and drummer Chris Dasan. But before we get into his game of how civilized are you, here's a little sneak peek into his life. Thank you. It's nice of you to invite me for this. Uh, I would personally like a one-on-one -on -one with the individual, whoever it is, because I think social media is a terrible way to go. And even email is so impersonal. I, I, I prefer the personal touch. Hand. If I'm eating Sri Lankan, that is, of course. Oh my goodness. What would that be? I can't even think of anything yet at this point in time. Uh, I don't know. Listening to some kind of odd song, I guess, that I generally wouldn't want people to know that I have even listened to. <laughs> I don't want to name the song, okay? <laughs> Probably my stubbornness. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> well, just off the bat like that, I said George. Ah, uh, uh, I would. I would like to go to another planet, like the time travel, which is habitable. The messiest food that I've eaten in bed has to be chips. Now, with the little game of how civilized are you out of the way, are you ready to answer our burning questions? Yes, indeed. Here they come. Actually, since I'm seated behind a drum kit, like you see the one there, uh, there are not many moves that I can make. So I, but I do try to uh, bring in some humor with the audience. Uh, okay, uh, a musician, as in a musician who is an entertainer, cover musician, or a musician who is doing original music. There's a difference, big difference. So the general trend in Sri Lanka for cover musicians, I'll start with cover musicians since I'm one of them as well. Uh, most cover bands in Sri Lanka want to please the audience, which is not wrong. So they end up playing the same songs. All the bands in Sri Lanka their repertoire is virtually the same, right? And I think that's sad. There is hardly any variety. Very few bands have an identity, which is why with my band, Mintaka, I try to do it differently and uh, buck the trend, you know? So we are not the most popular band in Sri Lanka because of that. And uh, it takes, uh, certain kind of person who really appreciates our genre of music which is like R&B, blues, funk, that kind of stuff. So it's not everyone's cup of tea here. And uh, of course, if you today any band, whether you're playing Western music, dance music or whatever, you have to play at least 40% of your repertoire today has to be sing hello. If you don't have that, you don't have big success, right? Uh, to be an original musician, is it's the same everywhere in the world. You need to have good material and you, you need to be able to market it. 
well. If you can have those two synchronized, you have a good chance of success. Or you have to have luck like this girl, Yohani, for example. I'm not taking anything away from her because she has something really special. I saw it uh, I saw it straight away when I saw her on, on a girl. I think Kotumi had done something for during cricket. I straight away saw it that she had something unique and special in her. Uh, but that song itself, she was able to uh, bring it out. The beauty of the song, she brought it out with her voice, with her looks, with her personality. And that clicked with people. So she did a great job, without a doubt. And of course, Amitabh Bachchan's granddaughter, and all that. So there was a bit of luck involved as well. See, that is one of the keys to success. In very quick success is when a, a well-known personality tweets about your work. Either they put a tweet or say something on so social media or in the news. And then everybody wants to know what this person is talking about. They check you out. You know, they check you out. So your Popularity can increase very, very fast when that happens. And that is also what happened with her, I think. But I'm not taking anything away from her performance or anything like that. Which was very good, yeah. Very good. All credit to her. Okay, it, it, it's, it's, you know, social media is like nuclear energy. It can be used positively or negatively right uh, some people use it to run to get rid of their frustrations they they put pictures of uh, what they're eating for breakfast for dinner for lunch <laughs> you know it's uh, it's also a vehicle for people to express themselves so the on on the positive side though you connect with people you're able to market something you're able to market yourself through social media and also we are living not only in the age of information, I think we are living also in the age of disinformation. So there is, so social media sometimes becomes very, very confusing to many, many people. You don't know what to believe. There are a lot of controversial, uh, controversial subjects. Uh, people say all sorts of things. I mean, if you take this controversy over ivermectin, COVID and ivermectin, Various people are saying various different, with different things, you know. So you have to be really careful uh, how you accept this information. And uh, you need to fact check a lot of the stuff that is on social media, I think. But uh, if it's used well, it's a good tool. So it depends on who is doing what to do. In the different genres, there are different people. I mean, if you take the singular genre, there were there was Sunil Pereira who was such a giant in that field. We are all going to miss him really, really badly. Uh, and he could he could uh, do anything from English to singular. I mean, for him it was not a problem. I actually did a project, a couple of projects with him, and it was uh, I enjoyed myself. It was, fabulous time that we had because he's such a great entertainer you know and uh, yeah Bhatia and Santush are still very much on top I think in their genre uh, then we have the heavy metal guys like uh, Stigmata who are doing very well and of course then you have these newcomers uh, like Yohani in the pop scene who have made it and uh, there, are, there are some people now I think if she opens doors for Sri Lankan musicians in India, it might be a great opportunity for our young musicians who are doing uh, this kind of music to enter India as well. But don't you think it's bad that they need to go international like that? Fine. The like they can't build it here. Isn't it a little disheartening that our own government and our own people don't We have them? absolutely no support here. We have absolutely no support, especially uh, musicians who are termed as Western musicians. They are virtually 
non-existent in the public mind i guess even even with this covid thing almost everybody is working except the entertainment industry so badly because people tend to think oh these guys are party they don't stop to think that there is a segment of the population that is earning a living from this right it's just not musicians it's the waiters taxi drivers you know the sound technicians so many and uh, the event pr- uh, producers so so many people are without jobs and uh, there is absolutely no recognition really and actually so this is something that uh, hopefully yohani can change because her success right might bring in dollars because actually music is a multi million dollar industry in most countries in the world except sri lanka so that's sad for me sri lanka is really paradise i i have had the good fortune to travel to many many countries in the world we have almost everything except snow right and uh, our country is really, truly truly beautiful it's just ironic and sad for me that most sri lankans don't get to enjoy sri lankan the way they should you have to have money to travel around so foreigners can come as tourists and enjoy sri lanka and see more sri lanka than most sri lankans would ever do i i think that that's so true of lot of tourist destinations but it's sad i think it's sad i have absolutely no clue <laughs> see i uh i just try to be myself and whatever that is but you see there's something called perception right so depending i think on where you meet them on your mood at that particular moment these are people meeting you for the first time right uh depending on where they meet you what the circumstances are and the mood that you are in uh impressions can be different some people have told me that uh, when they first met me that they thought i was a very serious person i don't really consider myself so serious <laughs> but see that's perception right there's nothing you can do about it i suppose because i don't try to make people think this is who i am well unfortunately i have not been able to perform with my uh, cover band mintaka neither could be practiced so i have been using utilizing this time actually to work on my original music uh i'm also into world music it's something completely different from what i do with mintaka or what i have done with wildfire earlier uh so i am into world music i'm experimenting with world music and uh, i learned I taught myself to play hand percussion as well to be able to do that and I've been recording at home and I'm hoping to put an album out in the near future uh some some not all of it is commercial music one maybe it's one or two commercial songs some of them are not conventional music at all it's not conventional songs at all and it's a mixture of uh various ethnic uh, genres so some of, some of my songs are what i would like to call a journey a musical journey it is where you might start in sri lanka go to india and end up in africa you know yeah so it's a musical journey and uh, that's what i've been doing All right Chris well it has been an absolute pleasure having you on the show here with us thank you for joining us on living gets real thank you for inviting me Ashwini
but not a stay and not the stars above. I believe in fantasy. And that's all we have for you this week. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram to catch the latest episode of Living Gets Real. Oh, and did we mention we're on YouTube? Click that subscribe button right now. Thank you for watching and stay safe.